Today we're going to be changing out the levers on my Indian Scout bobber. It's been done before, I get it. Um, I know there's a really good video from Jim Bobbington out there already. I'm going to do the same thing pretty much he did. Um, so, yeah, let's try it. So what I've got now, which everybody's got, is the stock bobber levers. Uh, my bike is getting less and less silvery, so one of the last remaining pieces of silver is these levers, and that's what I want to try to get rid of today. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to match my bike, sort of. There are going to be some little pops of color that are going to come out, and some people are going to be like, what in the hell did you do that for? And some people might like it, so let's get busy. All right, so the Jim Bobbington video makes this part look really easy, which uh, he must have had a lot better luck than I am because this thing does not want to come out at all. I'm trying the razor blade method, and I've also got a pick that I'm using to see if I can get in there. One hour later. I'm going to try to get in here with a pick. Let's see if I can get under it. This definitely can't be saved. So I will need to find where to get a new one. So all right, that's actually this is the toughest part of this of the install, I think. Next step is you want to get a 10 millimeter wrench, box wrench, put it on the bottom. And then there's a Allen bolt up here. And this just comes out. All right, so here is what I'm replacing mine with. I went for black with a little bit of red. I've got a red ship, uh, ship linkage on the other side, so it makes sense from that point. Uh, the goal was just for the hell of it. So this is what I'm going with. A little indentation here. It's gonna be in that. Right, let's put this in here. put our 10 millimeter down here and this is just tighten that up there you go so as you've got adjustments here to bring the lever in closer or crank it up and then you can make them shorter or longer depending on how you want So, actually, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so the brake one is the easy side, um, minus that cap. But we'll move over to the, uh, the clutch side, and there's a couple different things you got to do on that one. Let's see if this cap comes out any better than the other one. Oh, there you go. Got that one out. That did come out ultimately easier. Yet at the same time, suboptimal. And there should be a millimeter nut at the bottom of this one as well. Now where this one's a little bit different is that the clutch cable in with this one. So we need to crack that loose a little bit. Slide and get some room. And what I'm gonna need to do is Go over on the other side, 
where the clutch cable is and give it some slack over there. So. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I've got an adjustable wrench. I'm gonna put it over here and give this a little bit of a turn to get some slack on the clutch cable. And then, actually I'm gonna have an assistant hold this like this, and then I will adjust, or I will replace the clutch up there, and then we'll let it go. Okay, so I've got the slack off the clutch cable allows me to pull this out a little bit and then if you've ever worked on a bicycle it's the same concept where that is just like a brake cable on a bicycle so you put that in there slide it rotate it and then put it back in place so you'll see we have the same circle with a cutout here so we're going to put that like so, get the cable in the cutout, and now it's actually on for all intent and purposes. Put my pivot bolt back in. Okay, so at this time we should be able to release that um, slack on the, on the clutch cable there we go and that's it that's the install so these have adjustments also on the back side here you've got an allen wrench if you loosen that up you can make the levers shorter or longer depending on what you want so i'm going to try them short for now so i kind of like that look the only thing to do here is now I want to tighten this back on. Hold our 10 millimeter down here. Tighten that back on. And again, these are adjustable also, just like the other ones are so you can adjust how far out you want your pull on your clutch side and your brake side you can even have the levers out different lengths on either side obviously depending on your riding style so all right like and subscribe uh check out jim bobbington's video to see the proper way of getting these little bastards out because i did it the wrong way uh you guys missed a lot of cussing it was kind of fun and uh i poked my finger with the uh with the tool so that was great fun, but these are an awesome improvement, at least looks wise. I don't know, I'll be riding a lot this weekend, or this week, so I'll let you know. Thanks, bye. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Click on some other videos, but go home.